Hey everybody. I thought I'd end the day with a positive note and be encouraging. As there's so much amazing stuff going on. Yet it should be encouraging. As we see, we thank you Lord that we see. Thank you Lord for waking us up. Thank you Lord for waking others up. Thank you Lord that they're starting to see and you're pouring out your spirit amongst your children. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, it's so peaceful out here. And I was pondering on a few things and and of today's events and piecing some things together and realizing that what's happening in Israel right now and Israel is the key. It's the keyhole written in the Bible. <clears throat> And this becoming a dictatorship is what that's all about. So this is amazing stuff to watch because of all the changes and all the things that are going on. So I'm looking up, but I don't express everything very well as I should. <laughs> Speak a little bit more blunt. That's it. What am I to fear, right? Nothing. Nothing but God. And I remember <clears throat> that video I showed you the other night in the clip of the sunset and how it was like blood red. It was like so, uh, I was almost speechless. I was, it was so hard to express. That was so blood red, y'all. Um, that's no joke. I have seen the blood moons, the, the tetrat. I've got all those videos and that was awesome. It was very, very awesome. Thank you, Maddie. Um, but this blood red sunset was the first time ever in my whole history of forever that I've seen anything like. So we're awake and we see and we don't believe up blind people. We just help them and guide them and to the one who can change them. I'm the only one. He's the only way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through Jesus. We plant the seeds, the Holy Spirit will do the work. But I know that many of us are caught up in things that are going on in the world and um, feeling, you know, emotionally pressed and oppressed, depressed, and all the other S's and actions and shuns and labels. But that's where, you know, I believe, like, you know, the word, of course, everything involves it. But when the word says, come out of her, it's like a detachment from the world, right, that we've noticed. And it's not like, okay, we don't go out and do the same things anymore. And we don't go visit the same places. And you know, there's certain things that we haven't done, but we're under grace. Okay, but still, it's like a detachment from the emotional stuff that's going on because it's devastating to see the destruction and everything that's happening to people and what's coming in. So, I'm going to leave this video underneath in the description box about all these people that are noticing things in the skies. And even in the Dallas area, UFOs and stuff like this, and I've gotten helicopters, all kinds of stuff, and you know my, my UFO experience as well. <laughs> and this is amazing, though. Um, and I think uh, a blood moon or, or sunsets in there as well. But we know it is Revelation 8, so we've had all these warning signs for a while, and we're we know what they are, we see. It's like that moon over there that's like completely in the east, directly east from me. It's almost midnight. It should not be over there. <laughs> it should be above me. Nothing's normal, hasn't been. But that's okay. Matthew 28:18 says God is in control of all things in heaven and on earth. 
We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers of this world. And the Lord fights our battles for us. All right, so where's no fear in Jesus? No fear, period. Not being in Jesus would cause fear. Nothing to panic about. He's got this. He took Enoch out of the way before the flood. He took Lot out of the way before Sodom and Gomorrah. And he'll take his bride out of the way as he promised. We're not called to wrath. He loves Israel. But what happened over there, that's the keyhole. And Keystone, watch what happens. Um, there's a coalition being made, a new government, and the U.S. Embassy meeting's coming up. Oh, uh, 70 nations, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I was wondering what was going on with um, Pope Francis. Obviously, he's going to be there. Oh, I think he had that agenda. Many false flags are going to be happening, and many false Christs, right? And of course we know about the New World Order, and the One World Religion, and all that stuff is about to take place. We're going to be out of here. That's how close we are. But that's one of the first things on the menu, so to speak. And the Noahide Laws. And the Noahide Laws. I'll redo again. I know that I did a video quite a while back. I'll do another one. Just for knowledge purpose, not for fear. There's no fear in Jesus. But we come together and we agree and we become one. And he's the vine and we're the branches. And we go about telling others that the king is coming. And the other grandmothers may have told him and their great grandmothers and everything else too, but we're telling them now because it's happening. At least other things didn't happen before. Here's a way to strike up a conversation. Of course there is. Jesus always makes a way. When there is no way, he always opens doors when there is no no way that you could open a door. It's amazing. And we're living in amazing times. Praise God. Just praise his holy name, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to come on and encourage you all. We are in Psalms 91, peace and protection under his wing. The blood of Jesus covers us, our minds, our bodies, our homes, our families. He's got it all. No detail does he leave out. He knows it all. He knows every star by name. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> every blade of grass. Every hair in our head. Oh, what a God we serve. Thank you, Jesus, for your son. Thank you for the cross. It is finished. Accept the free gift of salvation. Admit that you're a sinner in need of a savior. If you just happen to stumble across this video, get on your knees and repent. Believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God and he was died, crucified and buried and rose again on the third day. He died for your sins forevermore for eternal life and confess with your mouth that he is Lord of your life. Pick up your cross and follow him. He'll do the work because then in you you'll be given the gift of the Holy Spirit it's a free gift. It'll change you from the inside out. And you'll never be the same again. You might struggle with some things. But <laughs> he, he said that it wasn't easy. He said in our life there will be tribulation. Especially because we follow him. Not because we follow him. We have everlasting life. And we get to be with him forevermore. Trust him. Believe. I encourage you with these words. This is Debbie from Texas. I'm saying peace out, Maranatha. Let's keep looking up, brothers and sisters. Our King surely is coming. <laughs>